Hey Collective, it's your girl, the Unorthodox Counselor. Thank you for checking into the channel, okay? I hope you guys are doing well today. We're going to go ahead and get in a read for you guys. Let's see what's going on, all right? Take only the messages that resonate. Leave what doesn't. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Somebody could be stuck in their head because they're struggling with trying to balance their finances or their career and home life and relationships. It could be feeling like it's too much because you just can't seem to uh, have a way to get out. You want to celebrate and chill and hang out with friends sometimes, but it's like you just don't have no time to, okay? So you could be feeling overwhelmed with that, needing some time to yourself. Yeah, right now you could be holding on to your money and your finances, okay? You could be um, staying very close to, to family right now, keeping your home life protected, conserving all your resources at this time. Somebody could have um, anemia and be very cold. Somebody could be very cold right now. What I say, somebody could be struggling with balancing right now. Family, work, finances, relationships. But there's about to be some ending that's about to happen or it could have already taken place. But this ending is about to bring about some type of balance, okay? The angels are stepping in to help you get balanced so that you could be able to have the home life and the stability that you have always wanted. OK, you know, it's time to start possibly looking forward to collaborating with other people. All right. I mean, we only, you know, a lot of times, you know, we're so used to doing things by ourselves, but we be needing to work with other people. And if you're a <laughs> introvert, actually, actually put it like this, I'll say I'm an ambivert it just depends on my mood too because there's days I could be very um extrovert and then there's days I'm extremely introvert where I'm like I can't even be bothered like I don't want to be around anybody I don't want to collaborate or work with anybody then there's days that I do so I could only imagine that some of you may experience the same thing and probably don't even want to work with nobody because you may have had some bad experiences with collaborating with people in the past. Yeah, because there was definitely a lot of illusions that people try to put over you, okay? And you could also be struggling with trying to balance work, family, relationships, and trying to really reach your dreams right now. You could be feeling stressed out because you really want to reach your dreams, but you seem it seems like you just got too much on your plate right now. Because you know if you could reach your goals and your dreams, you're going to have that happiness that you have always wanted. You're going to feel happy and balanced and that you achieved something. It could have been a long time coming to get this far. Because there's definitely, you know, you experienced a lot of tower moments. And now you're ready to take action. You came up with your game plan. You're ready to take action and move forward past this madness that you keep experiencing left and right. What I say, we got Queen of Swords out here. Queen of Swords said, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to take a chance. I'm seeing what my options are. I got to go ahead. Somebody could be out here constantly Googling, researching, you know, making phone calls, trying to get ahead. Like, listen, I got shit to do. Somebody has to help me. Do I really have to call this person? I don't really want to deal with them, but damn, maybe I might have to give them a call. So somebody's looking at their options on, you know, about to take action on where, which, which way they about to go.
Yeah, somebody could have. Yeah, so we got three friends out here, right? So, like I said earlier, you could have been struggling with trying to balance your finances, your social life, family life, work life, you know, and you want to celebrate and have some freedom, but you just don't have the time or even the funds to really be out there partying like that. Everybody out drinking and chilling and shit. You in the crib, they going to the bar, they having get-togethers, you know. Um, everybody doing their own thing, but you just left out at this point. You could be going through a depression right now. You could be anxious, you know, just feeling just overwhelmed and beat down. But you, you know, you're very strong. You could do it. You could get up out of this. Like, people could be coming at you with all types of offers right now, but you, you just don't trust nothing. So you not taking no offers right now because you over it. You constantly looking up ways and ways and ways to do something. But it's going to be, you're going to have, your, your back is about to be against the wall where you're going to have to go into some type of partnership. You cannot do it all on your own. You could be very independent. But it's time to it's time to open up your heart and move on and try new things. You're gonna have to let go of the old and start something new. Yeah, time to change your mindset. It's time to focus on a new direction, changing your mental. Focusing on your individuality and moving in a new direction. It's like you just standing on that mountain and you just swinging, swinging your sword, thinking this, thinking that, thinking this, thinking that, thinking this, thinking that. But you ain't even busting no play moving off of that mountain. You just swinging in the air. But you got to make a decision. Because all this juggling, you only could juggle for so long. And see, there's new, there's a lot of fast movement and communication coming in. You've been very overwhelmed, stressed out, in your head, having nightmares, worried about, damn, who can I, who can I collaborate with and take action towards? You know, who gonna, who gonna work with me and help me really see this through because I've done been dogged out so much in the past that it's just hard for me to trust. This is what is going on here. Exactly, it's hard to trust. You're not ready to, you're not taking, you're not giving out nothing to nobody right now. Too many illusions was, was given in the past. And now you all alone and you trying to balance and figure things out. This is why God trying to work with you and give you, give you some new ideas, give you some, a new set of emotions to just kind of like get yourself together and get out of this stuck and stagnant energy, you know, get out of this depression got to change your mindset right now you're not going to be able to just be out celebrating with people easily or giving out your love and affection to people either because you had to take some time to reflect and and take a step back on who you about to move forward with because whoever you move forward with or whatever you decide to do that will is going to move. That will is shifting. But see, you the high priestess and the emperor. You know what you need to do. You know in your heart, in your soul, exactly what you need to do. What I tell you, page of cups. You know what you need to do. It's time to, it's time to get those emotions 
and to move in a whole new direction of positivity. It's time to receive these new love messages, you know. It's time to change thoughts, feelings, actions, everything needs to shift. It's almost like the old you has to die off if you want to have this victory and success. If you want to be on your king, your king and queen of pentacles energy and be balanced with all your material wealth, within your family, your finances, your jobs. Yeah, because you don't know which way to go. You so right now you heavily protecting yourself. You indecisive on where you want to go. You could be seeing the numbers twenty two right now. Actually, we got two 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 out here. So we got duality and change and transition coming through. We got um forty four out here. Mm, mm, mm. Let me see what this moon is, though. Moon card. Yeah, okay, so collective, you got over several different options and choices. Okay. On where you could go and what you could do. But you had... You had up to like seven people that did you dirty. And this is why you're sitting in this four of cups and ain't trying to fuck with nobody right now. Until till people really prove exactly who they are. You're still sitting in, in the hangman. But once you come up off that hangman and you decide to be solid on the move you're going to make, this shit going to put you in a six of wands with victory and success. Accolades is going to put you also in a nine of cups. Where you gonna you're gonna be content with yourself. You're gonna be happy and feel satisfied. You are gonna have your independence. Your family life gonna be stable. Your relationships and emotions, finances. Yeah, because you got a lot of willpower and you was out here focusing on creating. Cause you said, you know what? Since I had ten of swords to the back, I'ma take this ending, but I'ma go into this new beginning with this world. I'm going to close out this cycle and go into this new cycle. And this is going to give you that six of pentacles where you're going to have equal give and take in these connections. What I tell you, six of wands. What you trying to juggle and trying to take action and change your mind and how you think about things and move forward, this is going to put you in that, that, that six of wands. You're going to be out here. People are going to be praising you and thanking you. You know, for They're going to give you all the um, notoriety that you deserve. Some of you may become famous, but notoriety always supersedes being famous. Look, Queen of Pentacles, exactly, because there's so much going on and with all these different choices that you have and where you could go, and you're trying to figure out why you're in the hangman position in this Four of Cups, you're trying to figure out which avenue to go to put you in your Queen of Pentacles. But see, there was also people that was in your energy that knew you was very abundant and loving and nurturing with your finances and very giving. And people try to use and abuse you for that and manipulate you. But you work heavy with God and God work heavy with you. Y'all one love, one movement, one heartbeat. This is why you still operate in your magician energy. And you're able to alchemize any hurt pain that anybody brings towards you. You may be down and out for a little bit, but you always come back. Like you never sit nowhere too long. What I tell hangman, what I tell you, hangman, boom. While you sitting there trying to figure out, you on your queen of swords shit, 
you got your hand out like I'm I'm about to make this move right here. I'm looking out. I'm being logical and rational. Okay, this is a head over heart decision with what I'm about to do. Okay, this is why I have to pull back my energy and take my time and reflect. Because I'm not trying to be sitting up here in no five of pentacles fucked up. Because I already dealt with that and I don't ever want to experience being left out in the cold again. Whether it's in a relationship, finances, in the community, anything. I'm not going through that shit. Ain't nobody ever gonna do me dirty again. The way they the way they did you, you're like they'll never do it again. This is why you walked away. Eight of cups. You eight of cups all they asses for what they have done to you and how they have treated you. People would love to come back. This is why people gonna start praising you once they see how you about to be on this come up. Everybody about to be in your energy. They starting, they slowly trickling in now. You get a text message, motherfuckers DMing you, you feel me? People sending messages through other people to give you a message of concern or how they feeling and what they, what they want to know about you. Because people know. There's so many people out here that truly love you and hate you at the same time. Like, it's so unfortunate and I hate to even say that, but... It's the truth. It's like, how how do you how do you love somebody, but secretly be hating them behind closed doors? But this is why God be holding you down and taking care of you. This is why you about to be in your nine of cups, six of wands, okay, to your queen of pentacles, because you walked away from all they raggedy asses. And once you get on this come up, you're walking away from everybody because they wasn't there for you to when you needed them the most. Wasn't nobody able to be there for you throughout all the times you was there for them. So now when you get on this come up and make this decision which avenue you going in, you're leaving them behind, period. You're leaving them behind. Because at the end of the day, you the empress and the emperor, boss all the way up. You're gonna be creative, nurturing, loving, okay? You're gonna be in a, a leadership and authority figure. And you the magician on top. Like, my God, you are highly... Look at this shit. You operating in all of that. You ain't got to worry about nothing. The whole time you worrying now, because, yeah, this is life and you worry. But because you know in the back of your mind and in your heart of hearts that God about to take care of you. And you know that you got seven different options to make great moves. You're just trying to make sure you make the best move. This is why you being real cautious right now with this hangman energy. But you about to bust a play and make a final decision. Probably before the month is out, you're going to make a, a final decision on what avenue you're going to go in. That's for sure. So let's get right, let's wrap this up. Like this was definitely straightforward. Give it time. Give it time. Whatever you rushing on, you ain't even got to rush because it's divinely yours already. Everything is already written. So there's nothing for you to have to sit up there and rush for. You might be, you know, struggling financially or something. You're kind of like, oh, I'm a little antsy. But you know at the same time, you're about to be all right. So just kind of like rest and rejuvenate your energy and focus okay on what you need to do but don't go crazy no reason to go crazy because luck is definitely on your side okay i'm not taking none of those just yet So during Mercury retrograde, you could have been experiencing a lot of issues, could have been feeling stuck, stagnant. You could have been having a lot of communication issues, okay? Trying to, you know, free yourself and have certain conversations with people to clear the air and it seemed like things wasn't going right. You was just experiencing nothing but challenges, 
okay? Make a decision and work on your inner healing right now, okay, collective? Yeah, somebody got a gambling problem. You need to, um, if this is you, collective, you need to pull back on your finances and start saving, um, start balancing out your money, okay? Just being more responsible. Yeah, there's a confession that's getting ready to come in, okay? Somebody has something to tell you. You will be hearing about something. You might even learn that somebody in your circle has a um, gambling problem as well as they're struggling with their sexuality, okay? Somebody could also be pregnant in your energy, or this could be you. Let's see what your angels got to say. The angels want you to just breathe right now and take a step and make a decision, okay? Step out of your comfort zone, but they also don't want you moving fast, so slow down. Like you're doing, you're in your hangman position right now, focusing on you know, processing all the information and your options so that you can make the best move. Yeah, focus on your passions right now, okay? Follow what you believe with all your heart, okay? So while you're looking at these several different options and choices you got, God wants you to pick the one that's, that is, you're very passionate about, that brings you joy, happiness, and peace and balance. Because this is, this is the big move for you, okay? Right now, you're going through a rebirth. This is why you're about, to, you're about to get some type of information. Somebody about to tell you some wild shit. You need to be confident. When you hear this information, don't react, okay? Be courageous. When you find out about somebody's sexuality or this confession that they got coming towards you about their bad habits or gambling, just be courageous. Don't. Don't overreact. Don't nothing. That's their issue. You could just be an ear to listen to, you know, because people do be trying to bring you obstacles, okay? But God be wanting you to focus on just trusting him. Focus on being committed to your God of understanding as you go through this transformation that's going to bring you joy, okay? Pay attention to the plan that you got in motion and what's going on. And follow the plan that you are creating for yourself. Set these boundaries. And you need to focus on self-belief as well and relieve your anxiety. You're anxious because you don't trust or believe in your own self. And you have to. This is why you're anxious. You can do it. There's nothing on this earth that you can't do. Okay? So I hope this message finds you well, collective. Peace and many blessings.